It was two nights before Texas Tech would take on Oklahoma State. On this night, the Goan Band from Raiderland held its regularly scheduled rehearsal in the rain. Everyone sees uh, the kind of the finished product and no one really sees behind the scenes the work that it takes to get to that point. It's yet another example of the sacrifice made by members of Texas Tech's marching band. The kids want to be a part of it, um, not because they get paid to do it, because they don't. Um, in fact, they actually spend a lot of money to participate in it. Getting to this point, some 48 hours before performing in front of a sold out stadium, takes some serious dedication. We have a very busy schedule. It all starts in June. That's when prospects like Jessica Calvert and Sam Jacoy spend hours practicing ahead of auditions in August. Over the summer, 30 or more. Just preparing for auditions. Just preparing, that's just practicing the music. And I practice about an hour to an hour and a half every single day. We have our traditional music and then our show music that we prep for. So, I mean, you just practice it until you get it, and we get here when you run it with, this, with your section, and then you audition on it. Audition day was in the morning, and then if you made it, you started practice that night. This year, both Jessica and Sam made the cut. Press K, one, and two, and three. And that signaled the start of summer band. Which is a week-long, three-a-day kind of um, event where there's 12-hour days for the students. They're very long days. I'm going to be honest, that was the most intimidating week of my life. And we will learn our first show, which is usually the tradition show, and our pregame sequence. Um, and then we uh, work on our stand tunes and, and more of our show tunes. I was with them pretty much 24 hours a day. When school starts, so do weekday rehearsals. We meet for about an hour um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then about an hour and a half um, Tuesday, Thursday, and then if it's a home game, we have a two-hour stadium rehearsal Thursday nights. Then comes Saturday, game day, when the going band goes all day long. We all show up. There's usually instruments shining. We have a time where our uniforms are going to be set out for us, and the, so we go and suit up. We have what we call a fan performance, where we all go out on our practice field, and we have um, a warm-up sequence. And there's usually people there to watch us. After that, we will have about, hopefully, 30 minutes. Sometimes it's shorter than that. So you catch our breath and drink some water. And then we'll get in our parade block, do the Matador March down to the Jones Stadium, and then do pregame from there. The schedule's nearly the same, even when the team travels. Those are also quite hectic. The logistics, though, are a bit more complicated. The students are really great about um, stepping up and leading and kind of being in charge of certain things. So we have loading crews and we have equipment crews and we have people who are in charge of uniforms. And we, so we have a really good kind of system in place to allow for us to be successful whenever we travel. We're on a strict schedule. We show up. We know what we have to do with our job. There are other required appearances, too. Like the Red Raider Club kickoff luncheon. It's a demanding schedule. I go home sometimes at night and I, I have a practice pad and I practice for about an hour, an hour and a half. And this is in addition to like your schoolwork? Yep. <clears throat> it is schoolwork to me, but it's schoolwork I love to do. And members of the Goan Band receive very few credit hours for their commitment. The students get one or two credit hours. Um, it's beneficial to them and the fact that they don't have to pay for the amount of hours they actually spend with the band program. Um, but the credit hours don't quite equate to the amount of time that they have to spend with us. So why do they do it? Oh, because I love it. I love marching band, I love music, and we're all there for the same purpose, to put on a good show, perform, and strive for excellence in this program. And it's that love that's brought students from all over campus together. We have over 75 majors represented within the program and all the colleges are represented um, around the university. And I look at it as a family. I think being in this band is one of my favorite things to do. I just want them to feel like they've built a network of friends and family that they can kind of lean on. For Texas Tech Today, I'm Allison Hurth.